Hello, Charlie. Congratulations for King Arthur. Thank you. Uh, the first question is, uh, what did you first think about when you knew you were going to be King Arthur? Um, I just thought, initially, the first thought I had was just how lucky and excited I was to be given the opportunity. But then, mm -hmm. immediately, that is replaced by the realization that there's an enormous amount of responsibility and work to do. Um, but I felt confident that with Guy Ritchie directing, that I was going to have such a strong ally that, you know, together we would be able to do something interesting with the role. Mm. Mm. And Charlie, how did you get close to the character? Uh, did you make a research watching movies, previous movies, or reading books or something like that? Or? You know, I was so familiar already with the Arthurian legend. I had, um, particularly through uh, John Borman's adaptation, uh, Excalibur, yes. and also The Once and Future King. And so I didn't actually feel like I had a huge amount of research to do, per se, specifically in, in the arena of the, the, the legend itself. What my job was, was identifying the areas that I was most interested in the story personally, because what you always want to do as an actor is try to make every character you play as personal as possible. And imbue the character th with as much truth as you can or at least the, your perception of what is true and interesting in life and the world and Guy and I which is why Guy gave me the role mm -hmm. are interested in a lot of the same things and particularly at the center of the Arthurian journey of, of Arthur's journey in this film mm -hmm. this never-ending conflict between fear and faith that we all have to deal with every day in our lives mm -hmm. What's the key, the secret to you as an actor to choose one or another project? We can see you in King Arthur, but you've been in a lot of movies, uh, Sons of Anarchy, uh, Lost City with James Gray. Uh, you, you are uh, uh, in such a few movies like Pacific Rim. So why did you choose one project or another? Uh, what's the key? Um, it's usually director-driven. Um, you have to be very careful as an actor who you choose to work with, uh, with uh, you know, in, uh, as directors because, you know, the perception, I think, from a lot of the outside world that aren't really familiar with the rhythm of filmmaking mm -hmm. is that actors have a lot of say in the process, or, um, which really is not the case. You know, we're, we have a, a certain level of autonomy and ownership of the character we play, but then the way that character is edited and, and um, brought to life in the editing room is really the way the character it r dramatically shapes how that character is perceived on screen. So you have to be very judicious about the, about the choice of directors. And so that's, it all really comes down to me, the director, and then second mm -hmm. to director is being excited about a character. Mm -hmm. Last question, because we are out of time. Uh, do you feel the pressure of being King Arthur? This could be a long franchise in the future with more movies. So do you feel the pressure for the audience to be such an important character in the future? I don't feel so much pressure uh, in terms of the potential longevity of it. More, more pressure and hope. Like the, you know, I try to concentrate exclusively on the process of filmmaking and being an actor and being the best actor I can be. You know, but when you end up doing things like this, like I had, like you just said, The Lost City of Zed and um, King Arthur come out in very close proximity. So I've ended up doing six full weeks of press and one can't help but start to get really attached to, to the end result in being less process orientated for this piece of time and, and really um, hopeful about the results but ultimately it's kind of corruptive because we have no control over the results it's up to the audience so there's also a liberation in that mm -hmm. that if the audience love this film and there's an appetite for it and they want more then us mm -hmm. going back to do more films will feel like a celebration and it won't feel like um, any pressure because mm -hmm. we're already giving the people more of what we know they want and if they don't like it and there's not the appetite then we'll have mm -hmm. to endure that sense of creative failure which is just part of our job you know so uh, but I'll be very excited when this finally comes out and we can stop the expectation and just deal with the result mm -hmm. okay Charlie thank you so much thank you. congratulations thank you. for your work okay. appreciate it